What's up guys, it's Eden. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. In today's video, I'm going to be discussing and sharing with you guys my note-taking method for how I take my oh-so-famous, aesthetically pleasing, pretty, and organized notes. I showed you guys my notes in a couple of my videos in both of my how to get straight A video that one I did for online Rona quarantine edition and the one I did back in 2019 when going back to school last year and ever since I posted that first video that is my most famous video on my YouTube channel you guys have non-stop been asking me how I take my notes and guess what in today's video I'm going to show you I feel like I've pretty much had every single school situation presented to me I've experienced it this note-taking method has worked in every single situation that I've had I also realized that many of you guys are going back hybrid and so this will work for that I'm sure because it's worked with everything else and also, I know that lots of you guys have all these different situations or unique situations right now. No matter what, I feel like this note-taking method should work for you because it seems very applicable to any situation. And without further ado, I hope this video helps you and let's get right on into it. <laughs> So first things first, I want to say I do not take pretty notes in school. It's just, it does not work for me at all to do it in school. So no matter what, anytime that somebody is teaching me, whether that's from a video or it's an actual teacher in real life teaching me, I cannot take these pretty notes in class. And so I don't do anything fancy with it really. And so I'm going to show you guys those because that is the reality of in-school notes. Okay, right, so this is a great example of like a note packet, note sheet that my teachers gave us. This one is from geometry and we were talking about angles and working to understand those postulates and theorems, just all of those fun, awesome things from geometry that I actually, I'm not being sarcastic, I actually love geometry. This is just another great example of that. See, these get sloppy, they do not look necessarily pretty. So this is just a great example of what I do while teachers are talking versus what I do at home. And for math, I just work along with the problems and so what my teachers, normally do is they just give us the problems in a big packet and then they just have us work through it. Again, just another great example. Also, this paper is just covering up my last name. This is actually something I did while doing the Corona online school. They just worked on problems and I just drew out the little triangle and I literally just worked through it. This is actually some trigonometry and I love trigonometry. Also, lots of times teachers give us note packets. I hardly ever take in a notebook notes in class. It just, my teachers at my district just do not do that. But for geometry my teachers gave us a note packet that we just filled in which I appreciate and then I retook them to look like this it's gonna be on the screen right now so voila it's on the screen you guys can see it but yeah I just wanted to definitely make that huge disclaimer now I know it is so teased upon why would you retake notes that takes up so much time when you could be doing other things and it just gets kind of a lot of hate along with just taking pretty and organized notes in general gets a lot of hate like why would you put that much effort into school I think I talked about the advantages of rewriting but I'm gonna talk about it again because it is so freaking important to me and that is my number one studying technique it helps reinforce that information into your brain because writing it you retain so much more of the information if you actually write it out than if you just type it. Now we're gonna get into actually my process of note taking. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna show this bigger, but no matter what, I always, always recommend using the same exact formatting technique for all notes, whether it's taken pretty or not. And this is what I do, whether I'm in class writing it in a notebook or if I am taking cuter, more organized notes. So the main paragraph topic I have written in big letters. So for when I'm taking notes in class, that's what I do. And then if I have more details underneath that, I just make an arrow and then my details go like that. So this is what I do no matter what. This is how I format everything. It doesn't really apply for math that much. Um, math is more just examples. Alrighty, so now I'm going to just pop up a template. You guys can just screenshot if you want to keep it right now. 
And this you guys can just screenshot right now if you want to keep it. And I'm going to just go and talk about this template right now. Hi guys! Okay, so I'm going to show you guys my general template that I just kind of made digitally. But I'm going to show you guys how I do things. I like to choose a color. Blue! Wow, okay. Hopefully I just do this in my 5 star, 5 subject notebook. But I'm going to be doing it on printer paper today. But it really does not matter what type of paper you use. I have to write sideways, I'm sorry. First things first is I make a title on the top. Usually I do this method where I write the highlighter and then I put on top of that cursive. Then after that beneath it I just write the chapter number and the lesson number just so I know what I'm taking notes on or what I'm studying from. So then up in this top left corner I just write the date. And then up here, I just write an abbreviated so 824. So I just go 8-24. Woo! Look at me go. Okay, um, then I just am gonna go over this in a highlighter. Then with my secondary color, which is usually just gray, I just kind of go across the top. Like so. Then my objectives go here. I and normally I just tape this down too. Like I have double sided tape so it doesn't flap up, but I don't have that with me right now. Then I begin the vocabulary section, usually by some fancy title like this. And then what I do, so the words actually pop, is I just write the words in color and then I do the definition in a different color. And then I also underline that. Alright, so that's just a couple examples of vocabulary. So now I'm just going to finish this off. Then I just kind of put all my information down here. So this is like the main stuff that you kind of need to know. My main topic is usually in fancy lettering. So my header is like that. Then I go in with my bullet points. And then I usually have a little bit more details on that. And so then I just do a little arrow. Yeah, so that's that. And then I usually just go around and... Alright, so now I'm just going to speed up and kind of continue doing this more. Normally, I'll take washi tape and then I'll add some more washi tape. Here is that template up close. Also, normally, I don't write this big. Yeah, so that's it. That's pretty much what they look like. And I like them. Um, my handwriting's not the best here because I was writing at a weird angle. As you guys can see, I have a mess <laughs> but yeah and normally i tape this down too with some washi tape that goes with the color scheme actually let me do that real quick Alrighty, that is better and it just looks very put together and i like it Alrighty, everyone that is it for today's video if you liked it make sure you guys give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this one and also check out my other social medias they are on the screen right now and specifically i'm going to shout out my pinterest because i get most of my inspiration for all my notes and bullet journaling from there so i have boards of boards upon boards of just inspiration so definitely check that out of course it's on the screen right now and it's always linked down below as well with that thank you guys so 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 much for watching and i will see you guys in my next video bye